Hello beautiful souls. This is your collective reading. Interested to see what spirit has for us. Uh, the energy's been really like, not shifty, but like very abruptly changey. <laughs> you know? Um, so we're going to do the collective reading. Um, and then on the extended, which the link is in Patreon, we'll go into uh, another spread. Um, I'll tell you if it'll be one or two, but it's mine, it's mine, heart, and actions or next actions for either the person you're dealing with, the universe, or whatever that may be for you, and then you. Um, and then we're going to break down the energy in a small spread for each zodiac sign, each one. Um, yeah, okay. So let's get into the energy for the collective reading. So we have the 11th house. Very interesting. I actually rolled a die and 11 came up. <laughs> interesting. Um, and then we have mystery. Ooh. Um, this is one of those things where you don't know what to do. Or you don't know what's going to happen in a situation. Um... It's like you're waiting for someone to get out of their status quo or you need to get out of your status quo. You know, like, um, this is how I've always done it. These are the people that I hang with. This is the person that I date. This is what I look for. So those kind of things that we have kind of agreed to follow up on um, is being changed for us. And we don't know where it's going. But you know that there is a sense of change or something coming up for you. Yeah. Yep. Because Mars, action. There's there's an action happening. Some of you, you have a desire for a change. Or something new is coming in to make you look at things differently. You know? Uh, that's for some of you. Some of you are waiting on someone to change their status quo so you can take action. Some of you are just waiting for something to happen. For something to change. For energy to shift. You know? Okay, so we have passion, the soul, absolutely. Someone in this, whoever's in the status quo, really needs to follow their heart. Your soul is calling for you for change, for something different to happen, for you to listen. It's like this is an opportunity to crack yourself open a little bit and see what's in there and to, and to make that choice to go in that direction. It does feel like it's going to be hard to make this decision. But once you do it, I feel like after that, it's smooth sailing. You know, some of you need to decide to let somebody go. And, and just let things happen the way that it's going to happen. But it's like your soul is calling for a change. So we have Angel of Strength. Yeah, it's going to take willpower to make the decision you need to make. Some of you need to break up with someone that you've been with for a while because there you met someone or some new information has come to you and you need to take a different route and find something that's better for you. But you're worried about what's going to happen or, you know... This is like, it, it reminds me of that energy of when you're in high school and you do something that's super embarrassing and you're like, oh God, I'm never going to live this down. But you do. You made it here. You know, you didn't embarrass yourself to death. You lived. And that's what this is about. It's about moving past something that you have outgrown to reconnect with something that's better for you. Whether this be a person, a job, a situation, whatever that is for you. Okay, so let's get into these cards. Hey, 
I'm going to pull a Celtic cross. Okay, so we have the world. Yeah, I'm telling you. The emperor, the high priestess, or the high priest faith in this deck. Um, the Hierophant in most decks. King of Coins. Two of Cups. Seven of Wands. Strength, Page of Coins, the Eight of Wands, and the Will of Fortune. Mm -hmm. Very strong energy. Um, I'm going to talk about the bottom of the deck and then we're going to go into the Major Arcana on the table. That's where Spirit's trying to guide me right now. So on the bottom of the deck we have the Page of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Mm. With this energy, I feel like you have an opportunity to see or learn from an experience. This is like an epiphany, a sign, a moment um, to give you clarity in something that you almost didn't even know you needed clarity on. It's almost like I was happy and blissful where I was, but then I realized that there's something else that could be better for me or something that could be different. This could be... Um, a moment of awareness, you know, um, of what's next for you, what it is that you want, what it is that you deserve, what nurtures you. So even the idea of, sorry, even the idea of what nurtures you will, is different, you know. You're looking for something different. You crave something different. You see something different. Hold on one second. Sorry, my cat knocked something down. I had to fix it. Okay. <laughs> so it's like there's an epiphany, a moment of realization, something that you want to investigate. Okay. It takes you out of the norm of what you think is peace or what you think is your future. Something that you have currently desired or wanted or took action in now just seems a little bit different. You know? Yeah, it could be that you're seeing two of coins, two of wands, and the eight of coins. That things are just not as balanced as they could be. But you've kind of learned to accept and go with the situation. Because you're like, oh, we're growing. We're moving forward. Something's happening. I kind of made a decision on this already, so I want to follow through. But the more that you move forward in whatever it is that you're doing, you start to look at the details of the situation. And you're like, I'm putting in an awful lot of hard work into something for something else to come in and, and sneak in and get me excited or make me think about something else. So it's, it's like you're rethinking your status quo. Or what happiness was to you. What that meant. Or even a relationship. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about the present. Where you are now. You're heading towards an ending. You may have already ended something. Okay. But it's a good thing. Because the world card talks about you opening up to a new beginning. You know, this cycle has ended. It's over. Be excited. You know. Um... It's like you have a you have a chance to restructure. You've been through all that you've been through and now it's time for you to get what's owed to you. Everybody's been talking about Saturn return and that's exactly what the world card brings. You know, it's now it's time for you the new you've learned what you've needed to learn. There's no need for you to hang on to whatever this is.
Seven of Coins, Eight of I mean Nine of Cups, excuse me, and the Death card. Yeah. You've put in your time. Okay. This tells me that you've put in your time to something. And you've reached whatever that wish fulfillment was in that situation. Okay. And now it's time for something different. It's like it's time for you to ascend to a new level or do something different. This is like being with the person of your dreams. Physically. They're everything that you would want physically. But they came with so many problems and issues. You got what you wanted. You were with this beautiful person. You got to experience this. But now it's time for you to do something different. You know? And I feel like instinctively you know that, but it's something about you having invested time in this thing that you just can't let it go or it's hard to do so. With the Emperor, I feel like you got this burst of energy to be in control of your life, you know? Um, I feel like you were worried about what was going to happen. But at the same time, with the Empress and the Four of Wands, you want to nurture a win for yourself or the start of foundations. You know, this is like wanting something that you know that you can believe in. Okay. And I feel like you found something that reflects that to you. You don't know if you can trust it. You don't know that if leaving what you're used to in the past is going to hurt you or help you grow. But all I see is once you take control of a situation, you don't have to worry about it. That's what I see. It's like you're making the efforts to build a solid future for yourself. By letting go of the worry of letting something go, you know? It's about nurturing yourself. It's about doing it for you. Building a win or a future for you. You know, some of you have spent a lot of time trying to build something up, like a relationship. And it's really hard to like let that idea go. And you're really worried that you won't be in control, you know, because there's a sense of um, release that makes you feel like lost because you don't know what the next step is. You want to feel confident that the next step is going to be as lucrative as the past, but the past wasn't really lucrative, you know, it wasn't getting you where you needed to go in the future. It just got you to a particular goal that you wanted at that time of who you were in the past. I hope that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're building new structures with the faith card. Okay. New ideas, new relationships, new ways of doing things. Okay. This is not about reestablishing old ones. This is about making new ones. I totally feel that. Things that are stable, things that are more reliable to you, things that you can hold on to without fear. Yeah, King of Cups, Four of Cups, and the Two of Swords. You need to control your emotions. I feel like in the past, you know, your desires, how you felt about someone, how someone else viewed you may have been a catalyst for you making the decisions and choices that you needed to make for yourself. Now you have the opportunity to choose something different. It may not be as attractive to others or maybe to who you used to be, but you notice that you're missing something in your love relationships or in your career. You know, like you may be making a lot of money, but you're not happy. You're not excited about going to work every day. You may have this beautiful person on your arm, but they don't treat you the way that you need to be treated. 
but something has happened whether you met a person with the two of swords where you have to make a decision to let something go and go towards what it is you felt like you were missing okay so Um, I feel like you're trying to stay loyal to a relationship or to an old connection because you have this idea of trying to heal it or you may have went back into something to try to heal it. Um, but instead of being so focused on emotion, think about what it is that you're growing. Is this something that's going to help you move forward? Is this something that's going to be lucrative for you and this person in the future? Because um, I feel like you have an opportunity for something that is more secure or something that is more reliable. Or are you just based on materialistically like having something or someone? Yeah, like are you holding on too tightly to this relationship? And I feel like someone is because they have the idea that they can heal it. Or if, the, if they make an offer or if this other person makes an offer. But really you're just holding on tightly to something because you're scared to let it go. Your past. It's almost like you feel like you had something on lock in the past. You know. It's like I don't have to think about it. Everything is good. We're fine. I'm okay with this. You know. Something comes though in to highlight the problems in the plan. Okay. Yeah. Something, someone very nurturing and caring. And then you start thinking, I can see my future with this new person. That's what happens. But then you're like, I need to hold on to what I have. But this person seems more stable and caring and kind to me. Yeah, this could be a friend, someone you met through friends or family. Okay. So you're going to be faced with doing what's right for you. You know, you're going to be faced with what makes you happy. What makes you feel confident? What really expresses yourself and not just your ego? I do feel like there is a moment where ego is overtaken and someone, you know, gets a little bit overconfident that the other person will stay or that they have time to make a decision. But this is a call for you to fight for what it is that you want. Like what truly is meant to be yours. The world. The chariot. The page of wands. On the bottom, the three of wands. Yeah. How do you want to move forward? What's the next step? I see movement here. This is your chance to end something. So something's going to end and you're going to choose your direction. For a lot of you, it's a new beginning. But it's all based on what it is that you believe or what it is this person believes. They've had their epiphany moment or their spiritual moment. And now it's time for the decision to be made. How are they going to fight? What are they going to do? What are they going to put it into? The new life or the old life? That's the question here. Whatever it is, they are, they're all the way for it. They want a victory and they want something new. Okay? So they could be trying to do something new with the old person, which I don't feel. They're giving me a number of 85%, 80, 89% um, are going to go for the new person. The others will not. Because they're not ready for change. Interesting.
The key here is to be confident within yourself and the choices that you choose to make. Yeah, the choice is what truly fits you and what is it that you just desire. You know, um, you want to be successful and you want people to see you. But it's like you need to know with this Ace of Cups here that it hasn't really fulfilled you. Because you ended up trying to, you ended up finding something or someone else that fulfilled you more. So that means that something was missing where you were. And that's, that's the fear that needs to be overseen or the fear that needs to be dove into here. Is seeing that there needed to be a change. You know, pure desire and just being excited or having someone around you or they're attractive and people see you together and all that kind of stuff, it doesn't make things last. Someone came in and tapped you emotionally in a way that you just weren't ready for, you know? Yeah, you have an opportunity here with the page of coins to go into something or start something new. But I feel like you have to make the step. Yeah, page of swords. There's a word that needs to be said. It's like you need to accept the cup and mean it. Accept the offer and mean it. This is a person that isn't going to take anything less than commitment or it doesn't have to be like oh we're going to get married tomorrow it just means that you have to get rid of the past to start anew with this energy they're not going to take anything less than that they want you to speak up they want you to care about them and they want you to mean it they've been hurt they do not want to be hurt again okay this this, to them, relationship is going to be the last. You know? I do feel like it's a healthy balance, though, of them, like, trying to give it a chance. But they don't want to be out here playing games. So they want you to move away from this person or this situation because they don't want the problems. I feel like you may have taken through, through a lot of back and forth with this Ten of Swords, Okay? A lot of back and forth about making a decision. And they're just ready for that to be over. All right. So nine. It could go vice versa, but that's this is the this is the way that I'm seeing it. So you could be on the receiving end or the giving end of this. Okay. All right. It's just coming out in this way to me. I feel like you've been thinking about this person a lot. You're trying to reason things out, trying to figure out what direction to go, trying to keep open mind, but also trying to figure out how it fits. You know, logically trying to figure it out. Like, why do I think about this person? What does this mean? You know, it's like too much overthinking. Yeah. I feel like you want to give to this person. You want to try this new thing. You really do. But you're fighting it. You're fighting your choice. And you're making excuses for why you're fighting your choice instead of working with it. You're not working with it. You're not going in that direction because you're scared. The Will of Fortune, though, this The ending is beautiful for this because it talks about its expansion. Because I feel like you're stuck in your head about what you should do. But you realize that you can get yourself out of this at any time. You know, this the person that you're with, I don't want to say they don't deserve your loyalty. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. But there's something else that can make you happy. And we all separate from things, you know. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You move on to something else. I feel like it's a bit of a storm. It's a bit heavy, you know. I f they're telling me they're pointing out a card to me. Yeah. See, there's some hostilities after this connection, but you'll get through it, you know. 
Yeah, the Page of Cups. You got to learn how to open up to love. I feel like you will. Things will change. Yeah, I feel like you're going to have a problem with the person that you're leaving behind. They are not going to be happy about this change. Because they're looking at it as something came up from behind them. And they weren't prepared for it. So I feel like they're going to have a hard time letting you go. You know? Um... When you decide to leave. Page of Cups. It's like you're trying to stay friends with someone. You still feel like you have to stay friends. Spirit, please give me... What is exactly is the World of Fortune then? Okay, so you're confused on, you're still confused on what to nurture here. And you're thinking of like an unconventional route because, okay, so you know that, yeah, with the emperor, you're trying to, <laughs> I feel like you're trying to manipulate this in a weird way. So um, it's like, I'm trying to keep this old thing and then move to this new thing. Because I feel like it's hit you how important this new thing is to you. This new person, this new energy. But you're trying to figure out a way to like keep both. But that's not what you're supposed to be doing here. You're supposed to be growing from it. You're supposed to be expanding. You're supposed to be wanting something new and different. You know? That's what you're supposed to be doing here. the gate a barrier keeps you from your goal yeah i feel like this is a self-made barrier that you're creating for yourself instead of walking fully through the gate you're trying to keep a safe like a safe distance you know true feelings are masked yeah you know what it is that you feel but you're trying to mask it with cunningness or the person you're dealing with you know, they're trying to be cunning and slick. Triumph over adversity. I feel like you're just going to, whoever this person is, whether it be you or them, they're going to have to break through the barrier. This week really is going to be about them figuring out that they need to break through the barrier. They can try this whole... Uh, I'm going to see what happens, give them just a little bit, and they'll be happy with that. And then your or the other person is going to be like that's not enough for me i'm not we're not doing that you're going to give me more than just that and then they're going to realize that they're going to have to finish the cycle you know it, they're going to have to go all in or not go in at all yeah because i feel like they're trying to give you a little bit and keep their little space here but with the will of fortune things are going to change they can't continue to do that you know, I feel like your reaction is not going to be the reaction that they think. Okay? All right. So we are going to go into the extended for this. So I'll meet you over at Patreon. We're going to do uh, their energy, mind, heart, and their next actions for this week. Um, because I do uh, the collectives every week. And then um, yours. <laughs> your uh mind heart and your next actions or your reactions to them you know um and then i'm gonna do each individual sign just a short message for each each individual sign i notice sometimes it's about this or sometimes it's about whatever is most important to you at that time so whatever that is <laughs> i'll see you over there i love you bye-bye